For this time lapse starts guys, just want to say that this was made for an assignment I did for college. So if you're hearing some cringy narration, it's because I was trying to impress my professor and also keep up with some uh, requirements I have to do uh, that are listed in the assignments instructions. And um, also there is also a something weird that's going to be happening in the left hand side of the screen. Um, that's just so, just so I can uh, block my my real face. Um, but uh, you know, uh, it has to stay anonymous. So um, yeah, guys, enjoy the uh, time lapse. Good afternoon, ma'am. Um, today I'm going to be doing my digital hand um, hand art. For what I'm going to be doing in my um, for my assignment, I'm going to be making digital art in my computer. So um, I don't I don't I didn't know uh, proceed with the with the um with the assignment uh, uh, since you didn't show me any examples of uh, of people doing digital art on the PC, I'm going to instead uh, film myself, my face, and my hands doing whatever I'm supposed to do on the keyboard, and um, yeah. So I'm going to be making some 3D art in a program called Blender. Hope you uh, enjoy. For this project, I named my finished piece The Glass Girl of Mr. Murakami. This art is actually what I visualized to be one of the characters in a short story called The Strange Library, made by a famous Japanese author named Haruki Murakami. It was one of the first stories that introduced me to mature fiction, and I would call Haruki Murakami's story to be the abstract art of fictional writing. For this piece, I wanted to capture the mysterious and odd nature of Murakami's work by using cool colors. However, despite the chaos, there is some kind of beauty to the story of the strange library. Depicted by none other than one of the characters in the narrative, the glass girl. However, I did not only choose this character for my portrait for um, that reason alone. The fact that the girl is transparent not only confirms that she is made of glass, but also my nostalgia for this piece of fiction. And despite not having read it for a long time, I would catch memories of it from time to time the ghost walking alongside me. It would always make me question whatever happened to the boy that escaped the strange library. Did he have anyone left to go to since his family presumably died during the course of the plot? These questions, these feelings, don't only summarize my experience with the strange library, but also my experience with opening the newest book in my hand. I will find characters to like, decisions to question, and lessons to learn. The colors of these books leak out from its pages until it eventually takes shape in the real world. <laughs> 